Officially the most beautiful and authentic Japanese garden in the world outside of Japan, this is the majestic Portland Japanese Garden. Alright, alright, so there is no official title for being the most beautiful and authentic Japanese garden in the world outside of Japan. Kinda just made that up, but there's some credibility to it because this wasn't just proclaimed by me. This was claimed by Nobuo Matsunaga, who was the former ambassador of Japan for the United States. So we can just probably say his opinion has some merit to it, at least a little bit more than yours truly. Located in the vast Washington Park, the Portland Japanese Garden really is a true gem of not only the park, but the entire Portland area. As early as reaching the Welcome Center, you'll start to notice the subtle touches that will already begin to pull you in a little bit. So just cough up a small amount of money, well, $19, actually not a small amount at all, and begin your journey to explore this beautiful area that is awaiting you. As the Welcome Center, the first distinct piece of architecture that we noticed was the wooden antique gate. Now for me personally, this was reminiscent and reminded me a bit of the Tori gates that you'd experience at a Shinto shrine, which act to symbolize the passing from the secular world to the sacred world, from normal life to spiritual life, something like that. And I thought that was very appropriate because it certainly felt as we were starting to go further, especially past this gate, we were entering somewhat of a different world as well. Although I wasn't hallucinating, it just, just felt different, all right? So after a bit of walking uphill, you eventually reach the main hub of the area called the Cultural Village, which I really enjoyed. It really felt like I was experiencing a little piece of Kyoto with the traditional buildings around us and little decorative pieces such as lanterns and Japanese writing and other things like that. Throughout these buildings, you can find things such as a gift shop, an umami cafe, which you can stop in for a bite to eat or a drink, something like that. For me, the main magic of the area exists in the historic gardens, so make sure to keep on going, continue on your way to the Nezu Gate, and pass further to see more beauty. So among the series of historic gardens, the first that we decided to explore and experience was going to be the flat gardens in the pavilion area. So the flat gardens is a bit of a rock garden with some trees infused, eventually leading to a massive pavilion, which is a beautiful piece of architecture. The attention to detail was actually stunning. Very reminiscent, again, of that old Japanese sort of temple garden sort of feel that you really love if you like that Japanese sort of aesthetic. So inside the pavilion, you can find many cool little items such as books, you can find other decorative pieces, little crafty artisan made sort of things, lots of different Japanese items and things like that. If you continue exploring this, you will experience the Mount Hood overlook, which is a nice little overlook showing you the Portland area. And if you have a clear day, which unfortunately we did not, you can see Mount Hood, massive mountain looming in the distance. And if you just imagine enough, it'll be Mount Fuji in Japan. And it's like you're in a different world, everybody, but not really. So moving on from this area, we made our way underneath the Wisteria Arbor, past the Sapporo Pagoda. Sounds like I'm a bit of a treasure hunt, doesn't it? To the Moon Gate, going under, and we reached the beautiful natural gardens, which couldn't be said better. So close. It's a very green, tranquil area with lots of beauty, lots of little touches around the area as well. You can hear some water, which adds some nice sounds, as well as beautiful sights around you. Really beautiful part of the garden, guys. Make sure to spend lots of time soaking up the views to be seen here. Right next door to the natural garden, you can find the stone and sand garden, which was a very nice contrast from the green lush beauty of the natural garden to a bit of a stone and sand garden, as I just said. Kind of peaceful, shows a different side of the Japanese aesthetic and culture, and you can also get a nice overlook from above if you want to see a different perspective of this area. 
All right, Wanderers, so we are at the Japanese gardens in Portland. They are so expansive. There's so many beautiful things to see. First of all, they're in the forest, so you still get to see the beautiful trees that you would come to think of when being in the Pacific Northwest. Second of all, these gardens are pretty authentic and massive. Apparently, they are the uh, most authentic Japanese gardens outside of Portland. And as someone who's been to Japan and has seen it and experienced it myself, so far I have to agree, but let's keep on going because there's so much to see. Let's go. So although we've already experienced three gardens and other things as well, some of the most beautiful sites in the garden are yet to be explored. So make your way back to the Nezu Gate, which is the main gate by the cultural village sort of area, and head down to the tea garden sort of area where you can stroll around a nice pond with the moon bridge just over the side of the pond, very picturesque and beautiful with a little bit of a waterfall on the other side of the pond. Then you can start to explore the tea house sort of area where you can see the Keshinte uh, tea house, which I don't know if it's operable at the moment, but it's very beautiful to still look at. And then you can continue on making your way to one of the last gardens in the area. And wanderers, don't be confused. This is not a tea house. This is a restroom, even though it's a very pretty building. So don't go drinking the water thinking it's tea or smelling, hoping to smell something herbal. You will not smell that. I could promise you that. So last, but certainly not least, it is time to experience the Strolling Pond Garden, which is honestly one of the most beautiful places in the entire garden. You will see some nice little gates and a cute little bridge walking area along the way. And then you will witness the Heavenly Falls, which need I say more, it's a very picturesque waterfall with again, nice little decorative touches around the area. But definitely one of the most unreal sights that we experienced in the garden were the massive, bigger than you could ever imagine, koi fish that were swimming around this little area. Absolutely insane guys so big never seen anything like it in my entire life right by the zigzag bridge make sure to soak up the views and just see what kind of different colors of fish and what sizes you can see So everything considered, the Portland Japanese Garden definitely was an amazing experience. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit pricey, and I normally, at least for me, I don't shell out a lot of money to enter these sort of establishments, but immediately after entering the garden, I could see that the money was actually going somewhere because there is an insane amount of attention to detail throughout the garden, lots of different things that go into it. And it's extremely well preserved as well, and it really does feel authentic, guys. So a lot of work and effort goes to build and maintain this different area. If you're a fan of the Japanese aesthetic or you like gardens as well, it is a must do in the Portland area, I cannot stress it enough. And what's even cooler about this is it's infused in the natural area. So in Oregon, you have the beautiful green trees with the moss, sort of the mist, a bit of the gloomy dark mystique that you get in Oregon and the PNW that is the Pacific Northwest in general. So it kind of combines the two elements, which truly makes you feel, again, like you're in a different world. So that's the video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at the Portland Japanese Garden. For another amazing garden that is just right next door, make sure to check out the International Rose Test Garden. Heavily enjoyed that. There's a video on it as well. And stay tuned for much more Oregon and Portland content coming your way soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.